Hi, I'm Jonathan Chabowski, and I'm excited to introduce to you the Solace Messaging Tile for Pivotal Cloud Foundry, which offers world-class messaging between your clouds using your favorite APIs and protocols. I'll show you how it works in a minute, but first a little background on Solace. Data is the building block upon which decisions are made and insights are discovered. And there's a torrent of data flowing between IoT devices, microservices, and legacy systems. Coordinating that data in motion is getting harder as enterprises move applications to the cloud as part of hybrid and multi-cloud architectures. Pivotal and its Cloud Foundry offering have dramatically simplified the development and deployment of cloud-native apps. But all of these new applications and microservices running in PCF need to share data with each other and with applications, analytics engines, and big data stores running in other clouds and legacy data centers. In an attempt to solve these disparate problems, we've seen enterprises use multiple messaging implementations that each serve just one purpose. In addition, a number of specialized APIs and protocols, as well as implementations, have arisen to meet the needs of different use cases, like MQTT for IoT, AMQP for enterprise messaging, and WebSockets for mobile. But what happens when these worlds inevitably collide? That's where Solace comes in. Our open data movement technology ties together APIs and protocols in order to meet diverse data movement needs. We've done it for lots of leading companies and are excited to bring our technology to Pivotal Cloud Foundry. We at Solace believe that data should move freely and easily, that developers should focus on writing applications that solve real problems instead of worrying about how their application gets and shares data. To achieve this goal, Solace advocates open data movement which aims to ensure developers are never locked into any specific technology. To achieve this movement, Sol supports all the leading open APIs and protocols, including AMQP, REST, MQTT, Cupid, Paho, JMS, and WebSockets. Sols can be deployed in all public clouds, private clouds, and legacy environments, and our tile makes it easy to run in Pivotal Cloud Foundry. So you may be asking yourself, why should I use the Sols tile in PCF? Well, first is the ability to easily create microservices that leverage event-driven architecture. When streaming and messaging are combined with microservices, applications are extremely scalable and resilient. Next is the ability to seamlessly integrate the disparate worlds of big data and IoT with existing applications via a common messaging backbone. Too often, disparate messaging components are used to solve different messaging problems, such as RabbitMQ for simple queuing, Kafka for big data, and HornetQ for IoT. Solace offers all of that in a single platform that's easy to manage. We know you want to develop microservices using Spring, so we provide seamless integration with Spring Boot, Cloud Connector, and Cloud Streams. Finally, the tile lets you stand up production quality, highly available deployments, all while ensuring consistent security policies and giving you access to applications and devices outside of your PCF environment. Let's see it in action with a quick demo. To get started with the Solace messaging capability in Pivotal Cloud Foundry, navigate to network.pivotal.io and log into your Pivotal Network account. Next, simply type Solace in the product search box and click on the Solace messaging for PCF product. You will then be redirected to the Solace product documentation and download hosted by Pivotal. Once there, you can learn more about the capabilities and features of the Solace messaging tile, as well as read detailed information such as release descriptions and dependencies. Once you've had the opportunity to learn about the tile and understand its value, you can download the latest version of the tile and get started. After the download is completed, navigate to your instance of the PCF Ops Manager and click the Import Product button. Then select the Solace tile that we just downloaded. Next, we'll click on the plus sign to add the tile to our installation dashboard. Notice the orange bar below the newly added tile? That means we have some configuration to perform before we can use the messaging capability. So let's get started. The first configuration item is to assign the availability zones and network for which the Solace virtual appliances will run. After that, we'll set the router, admin, username, and password. Now that the orange bar has turned green, we're ready to proceed with installing the tile. The tile is now being installed and configured per the preferences that we just selected. As you can see, there are a lot of things that occur when installing the Solace tile. The great thing about running Solace in PCF is that everything is automated and governed. This ensures that the installation and configuration settings are done in a consistent manner and frees up your valuable time. Now that the Solace tile is installed, I want to show you how easy it is to make use of the Solace messaging capability from within a Hello World Spring Boot application I created. 
To do this, we need to connect to our CF API, log in, and create a demo organization in Hello World space in which to run our application. We can also look at the Cloud Foundry Marketplace and see the SOLS tiles available for use. But in order to use it in our application, we need to create the Solace service instance for our application to bind to. We'll call this service instance Solace Messaging Demo Instance, and we'll use this name in our application's Cloud Foundry manifest file. Now that that's all created, let me show you the application that we'll deploy. The project consists of a single Java class, which is to be run as a Spring Boot application. This Spring Boot application will have a JMS template injected into it through auto wiring, and the application will send a message to a JMS topic every second. The onMessage method will receive that message as it's listening on the same topic. Note that by using the standard JMS API, there's no proprietary code and the application is completely portable. By using the Solace Cloud Connector, the application.properties file need not have any endpoint information, username, or password as these values are automatically discovered at runtime. No more updating config files for different environments. Finally, the manifest.yaml file contains a service dependency that maps to the Solace service we created. Now let's build the project with Maven and push the application to Pivotal Cloud Foundry. Our incredibly simple application is now being pushed into Cloud Foundry. Once it's fully built and running, the application will every second log each message sent and received. In order to validate that the application is properly working and to prove how easy it is to create event-driven applications, we can tail the application logs. As you can see, there are several entries indicating that it was properly integrated and using messaging. As you can see, running Solace within PCF has a wide range of benefits. It makes it easy to create event-driven microservices and share data across systems and clouds, so you can focus on creating killer apps. We at Solace are excited to see what kind of applications and insights you come up with by combining Solace and Pivotal Cloud Foundry. So go ahead and download the tile and get started.